All right, y'all, so I'm starting off with these teddy bears. Well, one is already done, but I got these from Walmart and they were just $5 each. The only thing you wanna make sure is that the body of the bear and the head is long enough to cover your entire foot. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and seam rip right down the middle of this teddy bear. Now, I'm not sure if this is how all teddy bears are made, but mine had a seam right down the middle if yours doesn't you can just go ahead and i guess cut it open down the middle so now you want to go ahead and take out some of the fluff and want to make sure you get some of that fluff out of the head too because your toe is going to be in the head and yeah once you take out a good amount of fluff you can go ahead and put your foot in just to see how it feels and this will also let you determine if you need to make that hole bigger for your foot or not um, I like to also cut off some of the fabric from one of the sides that will also make the hole bigger and easier for your foot to slide into. So now you see my foot fits nicely in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this sock and put it on my foot and then put my foot back inside of the teddy bear. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove my foot, but obviously I'm leaving the sock inside this time because now we're going to go ahead and sew the sock to that opening that we made so i'm just gonna go ahead and thread my needle and just sew all the way around it's really simple and self-explanatory you're just sticking the needle through both layers of fabric and looping it through and just continue doing that all the way around the sock So once you are back to where you started from, um, you'll see here, I'm just going to go ahead and sew over that same area where I started. And I'm going to put my needle through this loop, cut off the needle. And then of course, with needle and thread, you have two strings. So I'm just separating those two strings and putting one back through the loop. So one string was on each side of the loop. And now I'm tying a knot. If you know a different way to finish off hand stitching feel free to do that I really don't know the proper way to do it so that's just how I do it and that foot part is done so now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the hands and the feet together and I did this in no particular way you just do whatever works for you but I'm just sewing through the foot the bottom of the foot and then I'm kind of trying to flip the hand up and sew underneath it and then you just pull the string tight and you do that all the way across it probably only took like seven stitches to do each side um but yeah again just do it however it works for you and that's how you do the hand and the foot sewing them together so now that i'm done both sides i'm gonna go ahead and sew these legs together now you guys i literally just made all this up i mean there's not really a proper way to do it but i'm just taking the needle and sticking it through the inside of the leg and then i'm going to the other leg and doing the same thing sticking it through the inside and just pulling it tight and eventually once you continue doing this um, of course the legs will be sewn together and you can just sew them up however how you want them you really don't even have to do that part but i just like the way it feels on the back of my heel and my ankle when the legs are together so that is the final result i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one